we are always con we're confused now because we are in the Christian church. Our people are confused. We have no idea what we're doing. We have no idea what the answer is. Everybody knows there's a problem in the black, Latino, and Native American community, but we don't know how to fix it. Well, guess what? We do. We do here in the ISUPK under command of General Yohanna. We know exactly what our people need. We have to follow the law, statutes, and commandments under command of General Yohanna so that we don't have this confusion in our communities. On Westboro. On Westboro. On Westboro. Right. meaning rather Israel. So then we're going to find out who's supposed to be saved. Who is actually going to be saved by the Most High? Start from the top Bible. Go ahead. Verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. With, but Israel shall be saved. What does that mean? To be saved. That means to be removed from danger. To be removed from that parish we were just talking about. To not be ruined. To not be destroyed. To not be afflicted. We need to be saved because this oppressor has, con has and continued to destroy us as a people. But did it say everyone? Who did it say? But Israel. Did it say everyone on the planet? But Israel. The Chinese. But Israel. The, the East Indian. But Israel. The African. But Israel. The European. But Israel. Israel is the only nation that the Most High is going to save. Start from the top, go ahead. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. In the Lord. Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Meaning what? Meaning nobody else is going to be able to do it. Malcolm X couldn't do it. Martin Luther King couldn't do it. Who's it going to do it? In the Lord. In the Lord. Your pastor can't do it. Jesse Jackson can't do it. Guess what? Barack Obama can't do it either. Barack Obama just said... Uh, I believe I caught that he said it's unacceptable for black men not to vote for Kamala Harris. Let me tell you the truth. It's unacceptable for you to go cast a vote at all. That's it right. doesn't matter whether you're voting for Republican or Democrat. It's against the most high because we are not supposed to be choosing our leaders. We have a leader. It's commanding General Yohanna of the ISUPK. That's right. right. We are not to choose our leaders because the most high has given us one. It's unacceptable for us to cast votes for the in this wicked world that we live in, that we are captive in. Start from the top. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation. That means it's gonna last forever and ever. We we can we have the opportunity to be saved and be in heaven, and be in kingdom, uh, have the kingdom of heaven here on earth, what do we have to do? We have to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Because we mean the world to the Lord, so he gave them to us. We have to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, so the kingdom of heaven can happen here. And everything we just talked about as far as not perishing, not being ruined, having a society where we don't have to worry about all these things that afflict us, our families being destroyed, fathers not being in the home, as important as we are, as strong men in the world. It's like you're strong men in our world. As important as it is, we have, we have these laws, statutes, and commandments so that once we get back in line with God, that society, our world, our age can live forever and ever in the Lord. Keep going. Ye shall not be ashamed. Ye, meaning who? Talking about Israel. 
You shall not be ashamed. Guess what? We're supposed to be ashamed of our condition. We are supposed to be ashamed that we are weed heads. We are supposed to be ashamed that we are drug addicts. We're supposed to be ashamed that our sisters unalive our children at Planned Parenthood. We should be ashamed as brothers for having sex with our sisters and throwing them away. We should be ashamed that our, that our communities are destroyed because of gang violence. We should be ashamed of these things. And when we are properly ashamed and we get back into following the law, statutes, and commandments, read it again. Ye shall not be ashamed. Ye shall not be ashamed. We shall not be ashamed at that point. Keep going. Nor confounded. Nor confounded. Meaning what? Confused. We are always com we're confused now because we are in the Christian church. Our people are confused. We have no idea what we're doing. We have no idea what the answer is. Everybody knows there's a problem in the black, Latino, and Native American community, but we don't know how to fix it. Well, guess what? We do. We do here in the ISUPK under command of General Yohanna. We know exactly what our people need. We have to follow the law, statutes, and commandments under command of General Yohanna so that we don't have this confusion in our communities. We don't have this destruction in our communities. We don't have this affliction in our communities. Keep going. World without end. World without end. Meaning what? Meaning this world is talking about the world of Israel. That is what John 3.16 is talking about. The world of Israel and no other world. We are the ones that need to be saved. We are the ones that need to be removed from ruin. We are the ones that need to be removed from destruction. We are the ones that need to be removed from perishing. We are the only nation on the planet of the earth that needs saving the way we do. And the only way to get it is to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments and get in this body under command of General Yohanna. You want to know how to actually be an asset to your community? Get in class. If, if you're a brother, you want to know how to actually be an asset to your family? Be in all black and get in class. Learn from these captains and generals. And, and, and high-ranking officers on what you need to do to actually follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. That's what we're supposed to be doing. That's how we can make sure we don't have this confusion in our communities. That's how we can make sure we actually build a nation that we're not ashamed of, that we're proud of, that we know that we are doing everything we are supposed to do in the wisdom of the Most High. That was it on that? Take me to Acts uh, 2 and 21. This is what the Most High gave us because we mean the world to the Lord. While the Christian church teaches you that the, that the world means everybody, it doesn't. It only means the lost 12 tribes of Israel. It does not mean if you're an oppressor, you get to uh, uh, partake of the kingdom here on earth. No, that's not for you. Guess what? For your benefit, you can't sin either. None of this was given to you. This Bible has nothing to do with any other nation the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, That's the 12 right. tribes of Israel. If you are not part of the 12 tribes of Israel, listen, go follow something else. That's for you. This is not. Go ahead. Chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever. It shall come to pass that whosoever. This is a prophecy. This is a prophecy in the Bible. It shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen in the future. Keep going. Shall call on the name of the Lord. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. And again, that sounds like anyone and everyone. But we just showed you that these worlds, there are different worlds. And this is only talking to the world of Israel. Whosoever, matter of fact, start from the top. So like, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be removed from danger, shall be removed from perishing, shall be removed from ruin, shall be removed from affliction. Again, there's only one nation. There's only one people who need that in this world. So-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That is not for everyone. That whosoever is whosoever in Israel. Keep going. Verse 22. Ye men of Israel. Ye men of Israel. That's who this scripture is talking to. It's not talking to everyone. It's not talking to your oppressor. 
your Chinese man, your East Indian, your Asian, your, your African, your European. It's not talking to those folks. It's not talking to the Italians or the Filipinos or the Japanese. It's not talking to that. Say it again. Ye men of Israel. Ye men of Israel. That's who this Bible is about. Keep going. Hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God. Hear these words. Christ, a man approved of the Most High. He was put in place to be our king so we can know how to conduct ourselves, so we can, so we can have an example to follow. The Christian church tells you that, you that we can't keep the law because we're not perfect the way Christ was. When Christ said we should be perfect like our Father in heaven is perfect. We are supposed to be following these laws, statutes, and commandments the same way Christ did. Hey, listen, brothers and sisters, man. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button, man. Subscribe to this channel. And also, please, go to isupk.com and pay your tithe. Drop me some cash so we can move around this planet like we need to, man, and do the things we need to do. They're one west. They're one west. They're one west. They're one west.